It may surprise you to discover that, on average, groceries are our third biggest monthly expense. So what if a simple fix could cut your food bill in half and cut down at the time at the grocery store? The $5 dinner mom is a frugal foodie who says she can spot deals and assemble gourmet meals while saving you thousands. Here's ABC's Rebecca Jarvis for our series, Easy Money. Hi. Hey. Hi, Hi Erin. Julie. Nice to meet you, Julie. Erin. Meet Erin Chase, the $5 you dinner mom. Makeup. She's on a mission to help American families eat well and save thousands of dollars while doing it. A family like the Kings. Working yeah, mom Julie, two little kids, Max and Lily, and husband Andrew. She hardly has enough time for a I'm conversation. Gonna I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Much less getting dinner on the table every night for her family. Pan, Peter Pan. A lot of times the kids end up eating PB and J. As for the veggies, Just let them go. I love green beans. You can eat a couple. Come down to the mountain and there's. By 8 p.m., the kids are in bed, and Julie and Andrew give up on cooking, and order pizza. Get an extra large pie with extra cheese. Well done, please. Here's the real problem: they go grocery shopping all the time, but. They're too busy to cook. How much time are you spending grocery shopping? Probably a good two, three hours a week by the time you put all the, the, the different trips together. That's a lot. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's silly, but I mean, it's, it's what happens. You're just putting out fires constantly. Okay, what's in front of me? Deal with it, move to the next thing. Pretty much. The Kings have no plan and that's costing them. How much money do you think you're spending a week on groceries? Probably close to $200. $200. If not a little bit more. Because a lot of times I think I'm double buying because I'm forgetting what I have at home. Plus the extra for takeout. They realize this is no way to live. It's bad for their family. I do still like to cook, but I'd rather have more efficient meals so that we can have more time together. So you're spending more than $200 a week on groceries for grocery trips. Do you think you can spend a little less time both grocery shopping and paying for those groceries? I think so. Yeah, I think I certainly can. This is where Erin comes in. She's about to give the Kings a much needed food makeover. One shopping trip, five family dinners. But can she do it on a shoestring budget? The makeover so. starts with a kitchen audit. First look, I'm very impressed. It's very nice and clean and well organized. Tip number one, know what you have. I love that you have these red peppers. And what I especially love about red peppers is you can dice them up really small and sneak them into a red sauce and your kids will never know and they're getting their serving of veggies. Turns out Julie had dinner ingredients hiding in her fridge. I think I was gonna use them to make like tacos, but we, I forgot I had them. So I just made the tacos without them. Tip number two, don't waste food. Americans throw away nearly half of the food they buy costing a staggering $165 billion a year. That's over $2,000 per family. These strawberries had seen better days. Would you take, what, $2.53 $3 and like throw that in the trash? Uh, no, that no. wouldn't, no. So but essentially that's what we're doing yeah, here, absolutely. right? Yeah, absolutely. So eat what you buy, like this salad mix, before it's too late. You know, I like that this is a smaller package so you can use it up. Tip number three. Your freezer is your friend. I love your freezer. It's simple, it's clean, and it's organized. I can see that you have chicken. Almost anything can be cooked, then frozen, and later quickly thawed for dinner. How daunting is it to come home and see all of that frozen chicken? It's awful, it's like missed opportunities. So I have to start from scratch and try to figure something out. Tip number four, don't double buy. The Kings have a well-stocked basement pantry. The tricky thing though is you gotta remember what's down here. Right. So we're gonna want these refried beans. A gold mine for our dinner plans. Um, so we okay. have pasta, pasta sauce, and refried beans. Julie didn't know it, but she has half the ingredients for five home-cooked meals. Would you have thought to even come down here before? No, no, I wouldn't have. I would have forgotten we had everything until the end of dinner or something. Then it was off to the grocery store. Time for some grocery shopping. Okay. In search of tasty deals. Off the bat, our list was shorter. We already have pasta, spaghetti sauce in the freezer. You have the chicken. And speaking of shopping lists, it shouldn't be a stream of consciousness. If I make a list, it's very random. It's kind of like whatever I thought of and I needed at that second is what goes next on the list. But you've really organized it. 
organize it by department. Produce is at the top, you walk in, you're in the produce section. You have everything in an order, you don't have to backtrack through the store. A list was one thing, but could Julie chop her food budget in half? How much money do you think you're gonna spend? I would guess probably like $100. And her shopping time down to just one trip a week. That's cheap. This right here is our money right here. We found the black beans and they are on sale too. Wanna grab those too? Yeah. Erin found us deals in every aisle. Looks like all of this is on sale. Fantastic, $1.29 off for each one of them, which is huge. Like salmon, on sale for $7.99 a pound. Is this the kind of thing where you'd wanna buy extra? Yes, if it's something that you're making regularly and then you can cook one this week and then you can put the other one in a freezer with your favorite marinade. At checkout, we are saving a bundle. $23 and the salmon already went through. So talk about that $100 mark. I think we're gonna be way under $100. Grand total? $54.32. Awesome. That's five dinners plus extras for the freezer. That's less than $3 per person per meal. But would Julie be able to get dinner on the table in time for a family meal? With only 30 minutes to cook, two kids underfoot, and a hungry husband, it's down to the wire. But by 6.30, the whole family is at the table. Cheers. Family dinner. Can we sit after this? Absolutely. A dinner together worth far more than just dollars and cents. For Nightline, I'm Rebecca Jarvis in East Chester, New York. For some money-saving recipes from Aaron, go to abcnews.com slash nightline.